just found it. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Not, 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 for real. Not really. Not really. No homo. Pause. I am a god. I reincarnated. My father is two bucks and four. God damn it, dude. What the fuck? Resist me. What the fuck? Stop. You. I'm not doing this. Pull me over that dude. Stop. What the fuck? In this day and age, a lot of stupid people are obnoxious and rude towards police. That being said, this never ends well, and they don't seem to know what's coming for them. So grab your popcorn and get comfy as we dive into what happens when dumb people f around and find out. Stop! Stop it! Stop! So y'all mad me! Stop! On the 26th of April, 2024, the Whitehall Police Department received concerning 911 calls about a domestic dispute involving firearms. The officers were immediately dispatched to the scene, and let's just say that things were not off to a great start. I'm on the phone with the police right now. Nothing's gonna happen to you, dog. Just keep your hands up. I hope so, because the world about to end and somebody <laughs> me. Well, nobody's gonna do that. I hope so, because they're in the ground. Where my phone? On the ground. All the way to the ground. Just don't reach down to your, just go to your knees. What I'm going to do? Ray Sean, Ray Sean, you're not going to jail, bro. Remember me from the from the car. You know, you know I'm straight up. Just hang up on me. Listen. Go down. Go down. All right, I'm going to go down. I'm listening to you. Just to your knees. Yeah. Please, I'll call Please. Thank you. So we can take care of that. Can you go to your belly? I, I'm not touching anything, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead to, to your belly. Please. Can y'all take the gun off me, please? We're going to do that. She right there. You right there. Hey. Rayshawn, we can't do anything until we get... Listen, go down. I'm going from out here. Go down, brother. Come on, man. You're going to do this to me? Go down, bro. Right, yeah. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Just go up, down. Now turn your stomach. Why am I going to jail? You're not going to jail. Just I just listen. told y'all she just... Why you open the door? You called the police, right? Rayshawn, you going to do this to me? No, just grab the gun. Bro, I will once you turn around and go on your stomach. If I go on my stomach, you won't see the gun. Then and then we're gonna, we're gonna, listen. Can I lay on my back? <laughs> no, go on your stomach, man. You make it as difficult. We can't even take care of why you called us. They about to be gone in a minute. Can we take care of why you called us? The officers met up with the man brandishing the weapon first. And although they were being cool about everything, he wasn't returning the favor. Instead of accepting instructions, he put up quite a protest. Want me get it? Grab, grab it. Want me get it? No, grab the gun. Please don't me, because I called the police. Okay. And that gun is registered. Clear. And whoever <laughs> me, this world about to end right now. We not go <laughs> you, bro. No. No, just can't. No, we just. Yeah. We just detain. They right there. We detain you. Hey, dude, chill out. Good Look, you know what? My go. phone's right there. Can I get my phone? Yeah, Why are you grabbing me like that? For what? We're gonna get this side. What? Think yeah, about that. Well, I'm going to my stomach. All right, come on. Take me to jail. Come on, right, son. Y'all take me to jail. I'm gonna show you. And if y'all me, I'm about to die, bro. And I ain't talking. I ain't no threat. Somebody about to go. Listen. I ain't, I ain't threatening you all. Race, I called the police. Race, uh, they just been in chill. my house. Chill for a second, okay? And okay. my manager at the Cheesecake Factory just threatened me. Okay, we're going to talk to you here in a second. Just chill. I was just up there today. Just chill. They didn't do nothing about that? Huh? Take me to jail. Please, ain't nothing else on me. Let me get nothing else on me. Please. Please. The officers moved in and finally managed to get the handcuffs on his wrists, but it was not an easy task. As everything was happening, he was incredibly loud and argumentative. And if this was any indication of how his girlfriend would act, all of us are in for a wild ride. We don't we don't know the details just yet. That's why we're figuring out. Yes. So you screaming and yelling at us all doesn't right. help the situation. Do you understand that? Just because we're in handcuffs doesn't mean you're going to jail or anything at this point in time. Does that ma does that make sense? So we're just trying to figure it out, just like what you're trying to explain. We're going to talk to you. Let us okay. let us get the basics down, okay. and then we're going to ask you some so, questions. This is your All right. Yes. So look. Yes, sir. That's my bag. So this is what I'm going to say. Break for I'm about to look at my son, and y'all can ask me whatever y'all want to ask me. The 12 year old that's in the office or wherever he's at, he just pulled a gun out on me, or tried to, and said, "Let's do it right now." Somebody here in a look, man. Come on. What you want, Luma? Bro, hard. He probably illegal trying to me. The officers tried hard to calm him down and gain the man's cooperation, but it's safe to say that their efforts were in vain. The next hurdle was the walk to the car ride, and of course, he couldn't keep his mouth shut for more than two seconds. I'm not going in the car. Come on, man. All right. We're not going to do that. Hey, that's how you want 
bro. No, we didn't. Yes, y'all did. The door open. Not true. No, we didn't say yes, that. Yes, I did. Since I'm crazy, they, they, they say they about to me. Don't put me in the car. Not true, though. All right, about to catch on fire then. We try to get you some help, bro. Okay, I see you. Give me some help. Yes. All right. No, don't take my, don't take my ID off. Hey, yo, don't take my. You she caused, right there. Cause in the scene, bro. Bro, I'm not causing no scene. Oh, cause you get on the other side. Am I, listen, am I gonna have to carry you like you can? All right, listen. Wherever y'all about to take me, come on. Y'all make sure y'all do y'all job. Come on, cause I'm like coming watch, back. Watch your head. What you doing? I'm getting you in the car. Why take my ID? Cause you know. All right, man. What you reaching for? Hold on, this time. On this. Go ahead. Why you not carrying? Hey, y'all. They about to me, bro. It looks like he's been huffing. They about to me. Look like I've been huffing. All right. Oh, no, that's just chat. Watch this. Wait. And they gave me fitting all at the job. Or the hey. I can't see. All right. What? What? All right, so what's going on? Like, He's having a, either under the influence or 16B outburst, thinking people are the act menaced everybody in there but honey on the door with a pistol. The scene he was causing was quite embarrassing, and it took a whole team of officers to get him secured in the car. If that's not a sign to reevaluate your life choices, we're not sure what is. This suspect, however, doubled down on his bad choices. Yeah, we're all three witnesses to this. Yeah, One, two, I'm three. the property manager. Right. Right. Let's go in here and we'll get this done. I don't know <laughs> what has got him into Rayshard because he is absolutely, this is, this is new. No, I don't know. Yeah, we found some things on him that explain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna explain. Uh, some illegal substance. Oh, oh he's hard. But uh, that's he is hard. hard. Makes sense. And I've been refraining from calling the police on him because I like I interact with them on a daily. Like I talk to them. I don't never have any issues when we get paid. Do you? I don't do never. Do you know where that tenant went? Uh, Candace, she went home. Well, well, they know that too. The officer took a moment to talk to the witnesses. By the sound of it, this was not normal behavior for the man. And when the girlfriend arrived, she acted worse towards police than the man did. I'm going to arrest stuff. I'm going to ask you to step outside and talk to you. Okay. For what? Because I, it's not nothing you got to say to me about. You okay. took him to jail yeah. already. He's Can I get you to arrest yeah. this stuff? That's why out there. Where's that? He called out there. Out there. Why would you call the police on his name? He literally called the police on his name. Everybody's going down. He literally started waving his gun out here and he had Why do you think everybody outside? He like, no. He had, he had narcotics on him. Swear. Who's narcotics? What he had drugs. So we No. What, what drugs he have on him? Powder? Why are you giving me You lying! Because I'm everyday don't even that's okay. What's okay? I don't need you to believe me. I don't. Right. Stop talking to me. Anyway, no, what the rest of his stuff at? You can stop talking to me. It's I, gonna be. What the rest of his stuff at? I said you can stop talking to me. Okay. What the rest of his stuff at? I have no idea. I didn't mean that. Who are you talking to? I stay here. Okay, you can just leave so I can talk to them. That's it. You, you don't. Who don't stay here? I do. I'm on the lease. You want me to go get it? Hey. Do you want me to go get it? I know who you're talking to. You're talking to. Yes. I, I, okay. And that's why. I know. So listen. Oh, and I never had no issues with you, but where my baby daddy stuff at, what I'm saying. The girlfriend had an incredibly rude attitude, and the fact that she thought she could tell the cop what to do was pretty entitled of her. She even accused him of lying, and before too long, she got offended that the property manager claimed she didn't live there. What a drama queen. Y'all leave. Mm -hmm. That woman says anything to me or does anything and I feel threatened, I'm beating the f as long as you're look, like, as long as you're doing it in self defense, yeah, if that's, that's the case. That's what I'm saying. If I so is, what I'm trying she to says anything to me. I guess my whole point is if if as long as she and I can think of this, if she if she's staying there with me, toothbrush, yeah, yeah, we can't yeah. it'll be a civil I, thing. I know. I, as far as I I'm not talking to you. Okay. You don't have to talk to me. The property manager was properly fed up with the female, and this situation had already reached the boiling point. Moments later, the female came strutting back in with her lease agreement. And worst of all, she had her kids in tow to watch this whole spectacle. So, ma'am, you need to stop no, yelling no, or no, you're going to go to jail no. too, and I don't want to do that, okay? I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out the same day. So please stop yelling, my okay? My name. My name is good. My name is good. Just stop yelling, please. One hundred. We're gonna have to code three the female. She wasn't the least bit concerned about being arrested or going to jail because, as she confidently put it, she'd be out the same day. 
This blatant disregard for the legal system is one of the main problems in this situation, and it's more than apparent in her attitude. But she's about to find out that she won't get away without consequences. I didn't do nothing wrong. I need you to stop. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I'm not under arrest. You're under arrest. No, stop. No, I'm not. 100. I need more units here. Non-compliant female. You just stop walking. For what? You're, You're not arrest. about to arrest Turn me for around. nothing. I didn't do nothing. Turn no, around. you didn't arrest them for nothing. Turn around. Put no. your hands behind call, your back. Call somebody that you know. Turn call your, around. Call put your, your boss. hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Call my mama. Turn around. Put Can you wait? Can I get my kids situated? No. Turn around. Put your... You right away. Call my kids. I mean, Turn call around. my mama. Put your call hands my your mama. Back. Call my mama before put I go to jail. Put your hands behind your back. Can I get my kids situated? Put your hands It's no shock at all that the female insisted on calling her mom when she got in trouble. But these cops were done wasting their time. Unfortunately, her traumatized children had to watch her fight the police and get tased. And not even this made her go quietly. She bit me on the leg. And you punched me in my face. Yeah, because you bit me. Let's afterwards. Yeah, I saw it. Thank you. Come on, let Stop me Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I'm handcuffed. Can he get off me? He bit his uh, look, 100. 100. Can you read it out? Need two medics, one for a taser deployment, one for a bite to an officer. DeLuca! The heartbreaking cries of the children didn't affect the mother because she was only concerned about herself. During the struggle, she bit the officer. Just feral behavior she had absolutely no excuse for. And this would no doubt earn the woman another charge. Breathe, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, stop. 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 Stop it. Stop. Bro, y'all mad handling me. Stop. Y'all mad, bro. Okay, I man. swear to God. Huh? Monty, a cop, too. I, I hope y'all ready for this. Hold on. I hope y'all ready. Go we'll get it. I hope y'all ready. <laughs> so, if you didn't know, you're under arrest. Okay, I'm fine. Probably Take going to jail. jail. Stop. Okay? Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Take me right now. Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. Why are you bending my stop, hand? Stop. Why are you bending stop, my stop hand? Stop moving. You is bending stop my moving. hand. I'm not moving. You bending me. Hey, just relax. No! Y'all not relaxing with me! Stop. When her aggressive attitude didn't get the result she was looking for, she then resorted to faking a panic attack. She couldn't even cooperate long enough for the officers to get the taser barbs out of her skin. I swear to God, bro, I'm calling my auntie. First phone call I get. She a police officer too. You, you punch me in my face. I'm not about to forget that. You hear me? Hey, you had your knee in my I ain't do shit. Listen, take a couple deep breaths. Okay? You're good. You, You're the good. tasers and everything, better in you no. need to come out. And then yeah, that I don't will, matter. Listen, they put their hands on and me. And then I will get you into a car, okay? But stop being out here screaming and yelling like that. Take a couple deep breaths. I understand you're upset. Take a couple deep breaths. You are some right. White privilege at its finest. Can I go? Can I go to jail now? One Please. White, so that's Please. I don't give a You put your hands stop. on me. Stop. You put your hands on me. In my face. He hit me in my face. I'm suing you. What's your badge number? 114. M press. Yeah. 114. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I'm not doing it. All right, take a deep breath. Your cousin for no reason. Just relax for a second. For no reason? Y'all just. Know, relax. Y'all did me dirty. Relax. And of course, she couldn't let the investigation happen unless she could blame white privilege for her unfortunate situation. If arguing and being belligerent was an Olympic sport, she'd definitely get the gold. And unsurprisingly, she didn't treat the paramedics any better when they arrived. I only see the one. We're here to help, all right? So on this, all you're gonna do is- Just pull it out. Just pull it out. Yeah, yeah. just pull it out ready. Right. Ready? Yup. Mm -hmm. All right. Grab it by the ear. Okay. And pop it on. All right, so ready? Yep. Two, three. There you go. Okay. 
Yeah. That shit hurt it, but y'all. Yeah. So, make sure you don't get stuck with that. Yeah. Let me charge the fan. That's what they did. Can y'all take a picture of that so I can send that to my auntie too? Hold on, sweetie. You're going to take a picture. Take a picture of that so I can send that to my auntie too. By the end of things, this woman was charged with disorderly conduct, assault on an officer, and resisting arrest. She was also kicked off the lease and had to move out after this arrest. Her baby daddy, on the other hand, was charged with drug possession, aggravated menacing, and carrying a concealed weapon. It was May 7, 2024, when an Indian River County officer pulled over a white Honda Civic. The driver was unknowingly driving with a suspended license and was let go with a warning. However, not even an hour later, the officer spotted him driving around town again. Why am I getting step out of board? the car? I am not. I, be, I, I am asking you wrong. to step out of the I car. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not. Step out of the car. Murder three. Step it up, please. Sir, step out of the car. I'm telling you to step out of the car now. Sir, I am telling you for the last time, step out of the car or I'm going to take you out of the car. The driver, later identified as Anthony, was extremely argumentative from the moment the officer approached his vehicle. This was an omen for a very difficult arrest. Doubling down on his uncooperative behavior, Anthony even closed his window on the officer, but this guy was in for a big surprise. Bro, I haven't done anything wrong. Sir, I have asked you several times to step bro, out of the vehicle. I haven't done anything wrong, bro. I'm just literally pulling over to a corner to wait for my No, I told you do not drive. I, I, and I, wasn't, I, I was in that corner. You told I me told I you that do corner. not drive. And you have driven several blocks, sir. What? Step out of the bro, vehicle. I was in the corner. What sir, you mean? step out of the, the vehicle. I'm telling you, you right now. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm going to break the glass. I'm going to get you out of the vehicle. Paper. I'm telling you right now, step out of the vehicle. I haven't done anything wrong. What step you mean? Step out of the vehicle, sir. Bro, what? The, I haven't done anything wrong, step bro. Step out of the vehicle. In the corner, pulling yeah, up. Yeah. My girl. Step. Unlock the door. I haven't step done out of the anything, vehicle. bro. Listen, either you step out, we'll break the Wait, No, or I haven't done anything. Why don't you literally? Okay, okay. He just pulled pull me you over in the corner. He just pulled me over. I called my girlfriend because my girlfriend. I'm literally going to a job interview hey. right now. And he just pulled me over on a stop sign. He said I was speeding. I was, I know I wasn't speeding because you can't speed on a stop sign. He just pulled me over in the corner. I was like, all right, I was in the, you know, I was in the middle of the road. I just pulled to the corner. Anthony seemed too dense to understand what he did was wrong. He might have understood it better if he stopped talking and listened to the cop. If his story about a job interview was true, that employer certainly dodged a bullet. Things were definitely coming to a head, so the officers would have to take drastic action to detain this guy very soon. Bro, I haven't done anything Unlock to you. Unlock it right there. Bro, stop. It's y'all doing all the shit for? Y'all gonna go? Bro. Why am I? Bro, I haven't done anything, dog. Unlock the car. Why are you doing this shit? Bro, why are you doing this, bro? Bro, come on. I just got doing all this, bro. I haven't done anything. Bro, I haven't done anything. Why is y'all doing this? <laughs> Stop. Bro, I haven't done anything. Once backup arrived, Anthony was pulled out of his vehicle with force. Nobody was buying the innocent act he was trying, and he was placed in handcuffs not a moment too soon. Sadly, there were no handcuffs for the man's mouth. Are you done? You understand? Are you done? <laughs> Passenger. Stop moving. <laughs> Bro, why are y'all doing Listen. I haven't done anything Listen. wrong, bro. Hey, just this up I'm just really going to a interview. Why are y'all doing this to me? <laughs> Listen. I got a bunch of stuff in there, too. Stop moving. Why is y'all, bro, I haven't done anything. Why are y'all treating me criminal, bro? Because you keep resisting. No, no stop. stop. Resist. This is no offense, bro. Listen. Stand over here. Let's get in the shade so you can calm down. What's wrong with y'all? 
I told you not to drive. Bro, I wasn't still... driving. I was pulling up here, bro. Some people never learn, but it seems like being pinned against a cop car would make Anthony reconsider his actions. Unfortunately, some people just can't be reached. He vainly tried to defend his actions when he was clearly in the wrong. He could have just left the car when they first pulled him over and called a friend with a license to pick up the car or drive his dumb to the job interview. If he couldn't find a licensed driver to drive his car for him, he could have also just called an Uber. If you're gonna thrash and all that other stuff, we're gonna hog tie you. And I know you don't wanna go being all tied up. Okay. So you're gonna be calm or what? Where? I'm giving you this option. Are you gonna be calm or what? You will not kick the door, you will not kick the partition. If you do any damages, that will be another offense. Do you understand? Oh, y'all got me, bro. All right, let's go. So we're going to lift you up. Let's get a walk. Okay. Everything the officer said to the guy went in one ear and straight out the other. Anthony was placed in the back of the squad car, but none of the cops were confident that this would be an easy ride to jail. We're going to stop you. Dispatch has been updated. Murder one, I got to stand by. He's hitting his head. Hey, we need to hog tie him. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Just moments after the officer started driving, Anthony saw this as an opportunity to bang his head into the divider. Not every criminal is so extreme that they need to be hogtied, but Anthony here definitely fits the category. If handcuffs weren't enough, it's entirely possible that even hogtying him would not be enough to give this guy a wake up. What the f is that uh, doing before? <laughs> oh, that's, that's bad. That's, that's you just just went up to a felony, man. You just went up to a what? felony. I got to spit right on my yep. Yeah, I spit all over my shoes. On your pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting sued. Okay. Sued to God, bro. Y'all don't even know who you're dealing with. Do his feet there. Ah! Y'all hurting my hands, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that. Not persisting. <laughs> No! Ah! No! See what he does there. Ah. All right, you gonna calm down now? Huh? Right. Are you gonna calm down? Ah! All right, let's go in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you can hog tie it, get the feet out, and then put the yeah, let's do put that. It out the out the door. Out the door, so it can't reach it. In a nasty show of this man's character, Anthony decided to spit on the officer. It's quite impressive how quickly he earned himself a felony charge. And it's clear there was no hope whatsoever for cooperation. All you had to do was not drive. That's all you had to do. Was well, not drive. Listen, right, listen, 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 we're going to give you instructions. You're going to roll to your... What side? I wasn't driving. What's wrong with you? Come on, you're going to be picked up. Come back in the car. You ready? Whenever you guys are ready. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Zach, can you grab him? Oh, there you go. Huh? Should work. Uh, uh, Zach, can you can you come follow behind me? Just in case I gotta stop again. Then the officers made a second attempt to drive hogtied Anthony to jail. He also got a spit mask placed on his face, and that's something reserved for the most disgusting of criminals. What do you think? Are things gonna go any better now that he's hogtied and in a spit mask? Oh, bro, if you try and take that cuff off again, you're gonna have a bad problem. Do you understand? Do you understand? Oh. Do you want him in the hobble? Oh. He's gonna damn film so. Uh, I'm gonna seatbelt. Yeah. Try to seatbelt them. Yeah. So these cuffs are good, man. I've checked them. I can okay. get two fingers okay. through both sides. The That's reason they are hurting is, is because of what you, you are doing. Alright, so how, how did you wrap did his you feet? you guys search him? He keeps yes. trying to reach for something. Yeah, he's, he's, he's reaching. Got nothing. Oh my he's been reaching for the hobble. He's been reaching for everything. But yeah, no, we already searched him. We checked him. He's got nothing. 
Um, what about seat? What if we just put the seatbelt on? If we sit you up, are you going to stop banging your head? Ultimately, Anthony refused to work with the officers, no matter how much they tried to accommodate the man. He was utterly convinced that he was the victim. Still, Anthony was charged with battery on an officer, resisting an officer without violence, and knowingly driving on a suspended license. Next on the list is a brazen drunk who got a bit more than he bargained for. On the 17th of May, 2024, officers responded to an airport in Cleveland. A Frontier Airlines passenger had gotten belligerently drunk and was kicked off the flight during his layover to Las Vegas. By the time officers arrived, this guy was making quite the scene. Why can't I go to Las Vegas right now? Because they deemed you too intoxicated or under the influence. And I told you that before, they, they're probably going to refuse you. Say less, say less, say okay. less. All y'all say less. I'm All y'all say less. I'm All right. Right. How do I get yes. to Las Vegas? Because I'm stranded in Cleveland, Ohio from New York City. You'll have to go up front and reschedule a ticket. Are you f***ing serious? You, you, this tonight. is illegal. This is illegal. No, it isn't. Come on if, now. If like, just take me if, to where I got to deem you impaired, too work, impaired work, to fly and cause a disturbance, work. they can work. refuse you your service. You will get punched in the face. Are you, you, are you threatening? Okay. You're not going, you. go on. You're threatening about not punching you. people in the face. Not you you so can really leave. No, you're leaving now. Hilariously, this ridiculously drunk suspect was trying to act like being kicked off the plane was illegal. But when he started threatening people, nobody found it funny anymore. It was clear this guy had to go, but the officer had quite the job ahead of him as they followed the man towards the ticket counter. You'll have to reschedule and flight tomorrow. Stop talking to me. As the officers escorted the man away, the situation was quite tense. This guy was being pretty mouthy, going on and on about the airline. But at least for the time being, he was walking voluntarily. It's not that serious. I'm just trying to play. You can take that up with corporate, with the airline. Okay, great. So I, I can't get to where I'm going because... Say what? Say what? Say No, no, respectfully, like... I did. I was just being there. No, 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 yo, 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 yo. This guy was trying to blame his behavior on the airline because they served him alcohol. And for his part, it was a wildly audacious and delusional move. In the real world, airlines serve passengers alcohol with the expectation they can act civilized. Obviously, that's not how this guy views things. Suck my dick. 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 Not, 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 for real, not really, not really. No homo, pause, like, like. Pause. You're going down there. Damn, bro. Johnny. Yo, you. I need a picture. I, I love it. Peace, y'all. Later. Thank you. The man's attitude took a nosedive right into being straight up unsavory, and now he was treading on thin ice. He was quite literally acting like a child who's had too much sugar, and his freak out only escalated when he was told he had to buy a new ticket. The walk towards the ticket counter was pretty long, so just imagine the suffering the cops had to endure. Tell you too loud, due to your behavior and your conduct, Frontier's not booking you. If you calm, once you sober up and calm How down. How do I get to Vegas right now? How do I get to Las Vegas right now? I'm get there the next so y'all stranding me in Las Vegas? I'm not legal. I'm not stranding you nowhere. Come on, are you, you serious? Are you, you serious? Get a hotel. You can get a hotel room and come back here in the, mo in the morning and book a flight. They said you could do that. Kill yourself. 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 For you to tell me that, I'm transit. I'm going to Las Vegas and y'all stopping me. You guys are stopping me. 
I'm not because stopping. Because of my voice. Because of my voice. This is because my voice. Because of my voice. Because of my voice. This is my voice. I can't help it. I'm handicapped. No one know that. Okay, great. And they serve me on a f***ing airplane. F*** all, yo. F*** all, yo. Seriously. Like, just tell I, I'm just trying to get to Las Vegas. I, 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 I'm not a dog. I'm not a friend. Because of my voice. Just because of my voice. Just because of my voice. I'm too loud. I'm too loud. I'm too loud. I'm, too, I'm an opera singer. I'm an opera singer. I sing opera. You guys know opera? Opera. 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 New York. The suspect's temperament escalated very quickly to being extremely belligerent. And now he's excusing his loud behavior by saying he's an opera singer, which is one of the dumbest excuses we've ever heard. He was too drunk to be reasoned with, and the massive scene he was creating was disturbing everyone in the airport. But uh, I'm not even a threat. It's just my voice. I'm talking loud on purpose. It's my voice. I'm handicapped. Y'all don't get it? You They're did trying to punch her in the face. So I'm stepping clean. Okay, great. So what the f do I do? There's what a taxi downstairs. Go downstairs and get a taxi. Stop my d Stop my d Go downstairs. Come on now. You ain't helping me. You're not helping me. What are you doing to me? You gave me every option. You're causing a disturbance. Not I didn't know that. You didn't inform me that. Oh, no. You've been kicked out. And you're sitting here you telling us to no suck your you're threatening no. people. Jesus I'm Christ. done with you. I'm so sorry. I'm no. so sorry. No, now you're not going to make it to Vegas at all this time. Oh, I'll give you every I'll chance. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Just sitting right here. Okay. Yeah, my, my, I have an idea on me. My aunt's a member of service. Four, 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 four. My aunt's, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. I, I'm just I'm frustrated. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry guys. The cops finally took action and arrested him. And that's when he turned from arrogant to outright pathetic. Once things got serious, that's when he turned into an apologetic mess. But it was a little too late now. Unfortunately for him, not even his aunt can save him from this. Threatened to actually, no, first you threatened, threatened you. you threatened to punch her in the face. No then way. Then you told her to suck your I said you then would. You I said you would. I never, I never, come on now, y'all not helping me. You guys are supposed to help me. I'm so sorry. I'm so I, 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 I didn't know that I was gonna help you. You, you. you got mad at me when I told you I was gonna help you. You told me. You, I told you, what, I told you what your options were. You told me to suck your. You told me to go to Frontier. Okay, and I told you. I told you. You, you work for Frontier. I told you, you had to sober, you work sober up. I told you to sober up and come back in the morning. You didn't want to hear that. So now we done. Word, word. I, I said like We told you to leave numerous times. Oh my bad. My bad. My bad. Just the um. Oh gosh. All right. Whatever. All right. Okay. Whatever y'all want to do. My bad, yo. I have no weapons, and uh, they served me on the plane, by the we, way. Yes, we know that. I, I have no My aunt's a member of service. I'm so sorry. I did not. We. I'm a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> so do you act like this in New York, and the cops in New York put up with you like this? I don't I don't inter, inter, interact with cops in New York. Okay, but unfortunately, you were at the airport here in Cleveland. After the way this guy acted, there was no chance the cops were going to help him. Thankfully, this arrest seemed to have brought the man back to his senses a bit. If only this could have happened earlier, he could have saved himself a lot of embarrassment. I'm blind and deaf. I'm, start look at my license. Look at my license. It says I wear corrective lenses. Okay. I, 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 and, uh, my, my. I understand that. So but I can fault, smell the fault, alcohol on you. They served me. They yes. served me. They served me. Why would they serve me? Why would, why would they do that? And then. The, my bad. I did, I did not threaten anyone. I would never threaten any of you guys. Are you serious? You felt threatened by me? Y'all can't tell people around and tell people to suck your Of course I can. It's my voice. This okay. is my voice. Okay, but that's disorderly conduct. You know, oh. 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 I'm just saying, you know. Yep. You heard that right. Our suspect tried to claim that he was blind and deaf. He's probably just blind enough to not see how he's making things worse for himself and just deaf enough to not hear how pathetic he sounds. This guy's really playing the victim and he's laying it on super thick. We can, get, we can charge you with trespassing. I'm not, I'm totally not, I'm just, I'm yeah. totally not trying to do like the thing. Attention South Louisiana. My bad, guys. Like, like, low key, like, like, my bad. Like, call me. Uh, do I have mine? I don't I, think I, I have I, one. Lord, hopefully it brings Come on, you, you act like I didn't show y'all respect. I never showed y'all respect? No, because you told her, kept telling us to suck. You can say suck your. You can say it. That's not respect. Oh, God. 
Y'all didn't help me. You're not, you didn't we were helping you. We were trying to get you reboarded, but you were acting here? such a fool. To Frontier? And yes, and they refused to serve you. No, you work for Frontier then? No, I don't work for Frontier. Then why would you tell me to go to Frontier? That's who you were trying to rebook with. That's why but you were I acting up. That. That's why I said I felt like you worked there. Okay. I felt like you worked there. Oh, That's okay. why I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm like, like, are, do you work there? Like, I'm just trying to get to where I'm going. I'm not posing a threat. I swear. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Now. Come on. I, I swear I'm not a threat. And you guys, like, uh. My voice. It's just. Have a seat. Have a seat. I work, work, work. My bad, my bad, my bad. This man's efforts to backtrack were absolutely useless. In the end, there was simply no excuse for his atrocious behavior. His disrespectful and entitled attitude earned him a free ride to jail, and hopefully a lesson learned. The man spent a few days in local jail and was later released with time served. Strap in, because the next woman on our list is truly a nutcase. After multiple 911 calls, Miami Beach officers were dispatched because of a woman acting extremely aggressive in public. It was December 11th, 2022, and a day none of the cops would forget soon. When the cops got on scene, they found an extremely explosive situation. Within minutes of arriving, the cops had tased the woman and were on the receiving end of her punches. She was struggling violently, but as crazy as she was, she was still no match for a team of officers. After she was handcuffed, a person from the crowd walked towards the officers. Sir, I'm the one that call. You the one that call? She's driving a car, the, uh, a, a black, this female? No, no, a black uh, Lincoln. So what happened with her? I was inside and my partner okay, stopped. Okay, this female. Okay, she, she started to scream at people here. She started to stand like this and not, and not leaving the, the, the traffic coming. She started to smash the, the food of the people, screaming at people. There was a guy on the phone. She smashed the phone on the floor. She started to fight uh, a security guy, a big guy. He started to push her to take her hair out. Take the cuff off me. What are you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, is there a seven three? Yes, have a seat. I'll sit on the ground. No, 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 no I'll no. come in there. No. Nope. Sit down, man. Sit down. 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 If you don't listen, we're not going to... It's no wonder the man felt the need to call the cops on the woman. The suspect, identified as East, was clearly completely off her rocker. So it wasn't surprising that she refuses to be loaded into the cop car. Unfortunately, this would only be the start of her antics. And my dog's in the car. My dog's in the car. Where's your car? Where's your car? Where's your car? Up there. Where? I need water. And she started to fight the guy like a man. Like, like two, two, and the guy was don't, huge. Don't, where, where are, don't go anywhere, because I need to get information, but I need to go there. Well, she has a car, maybe she has drugs in the car, because she got in the car, and an hour after she went out, she acted back this way. So maybe she has drugs in the car. 
She didn't seem all that concerned about her dog who was locked in the car, but she was dead set on not working with the officers. She soon started demanding water, and at this point, the question on everyone's lips was whether she was on drugs or if she was having a serious mental breakdown, because none of this was normal behavior. Can you come here with anybody else? No. This is you? And you and your dog? Yeah, my dog. Where, where's your dog so I can get him for you? Can you turn the car on? It's hot! I, I got you. I got you. Turn the AC on. Look so good. Woo! Shall be. She piped down for a moment when she was finally loaded into the cop car and given water. But that was, as they say, the calm before the storm. The medics arrived in the meantime, but if there was any hope that she might be more cooperative, that hope was quickly crushed when she opened her mouth again. All right, just want to make sure you're okay. You're asking if I'm, if I'm okay? I tell you I need water. Get me water. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get you just some get water. Get me water. You're a paramedic. Get me water. I can't. It doesn't work like that. All right. You're weird. Just give me a little bit. That's weird. You know what today's date is? That's weird. What year are we in? 2022. Okay. Who's the president? We don't have a president. You know what That's city you're in right now? What? You know what city you're in right now? Yeah. What city? Miami. Okay. I just want to make sure you're all right. Shockingly, she was coherent enough to answer most questions. If she's sober and in her right mind, then it's even more disturbing that she's acting this way. The firefighters weren't having any better luck in reasoning with her either. You were like right here, Literally, like, and she's like dumped stuff all over me. What's she dump on you? Like, they should have put it in my yeah, glass. They, yeah, the table, like she fell on one of the tables. All right, do you have, do you have ID on you? Yeah. All right, I'm good. Emily, come on. Can you get my water first? And where's I'll my dog? You I promise your water. you. We're gonna get, get you another water, water, but you gotta sit in there Emily, first. Come on, man. Emily, come on. I'm Don't make this more. It's my wallet. Can I make sure I have my wallet? No, no. She has a knife. She no. has a knife. All right, take it out of my pocket. Okay. Take it out she my has a knife. Hold it. I'm not oh, gonna stab you, dude. My dog. You need. You need to get back inside I'm the car. I'm not getting in the car until my dog's safe. Emily, we're gonna go check out your dog. Where's your dog in the car? We'll check that out, but you need to sit down. If you don't sit down, then we're not gonna be able to do that. Help us out. You want us to go check out your dog? You gotta sit down. Are you gonna sit down? There seemed to be an endless list of witnesses who've had unfortunate run-ins with this woman. And this situation just kept getting worse for her. She first had to be taken to the hospital for medical clearance. And this would be yet another struggle. Oh, we realized this. Yeah, you're tired legs together. Hey, come on. Like a little bit. Yeah, I'm not still. Yeah, we got something in the front. Please don't kick me. So you're tired. You can't fight all, all of us all. I could. No, you can't. Why would you do that? I am a god. My name is Isis. Oh, it's Aset. It's Emily. From ancient Egypt. Oh, now you're lying. Osiris is here. Oh. Ra is here. Nobody's recording. Everybody from ancient Egypt is here. I am a god. I reincarnated. My father is Tupac Shakur! My name is East Amaru Shakur! I have reincarnated to free all of my people! And no matter what, look at y'all, y'all just stand there. Just leave him there. Her delusions went up a notch because she's now claiming that she's an Egyptian god. She probably thought the firefighters and medics were her subjects and that they were lifting her up on a pedestal. Once securely strapped on a stretcher, they could finally load her into an ambulance. Although it's hard to imagine the hospital staff being too thrilled about her arrival. So what y'all arrest me for? Um, we did not arrest you. The other officer did. Our job is transport. That's why I told you. When I first met you, I said, listen, me and my partner had nothing to do with your arrest. They didn't tell me what they arrested me for. We will both find out when they print it out over here. Y'all broke your own law.
Walk through here real quick. Just for us. Just walk to the middle of the table real quick. Come over here. I feel it. After being cleared and arriving in jail, she was somewhat calmer. However, the fact that she was laughing at the process was proof that she still wasn't grasping the seriousness of the circumstance. The unstable woman received a slew of charges, including battery on a peace officer, resisting arrest, assault, and disorderly conduct. On the 7th of March, 2023, police in Coral Springs were called to assist a church preschool. During the day, they discovered a homeless man sleeping behind their building. And when the officer arrived, he already knew the suspect by name, which usually is not a great sign. Hey, Paul. What's up, man? How you doing? Still staying out here, bro? Yeah. Okay. Listen, bro. I've told you before, you can't be staying over here, man. This is a school during the day. Oh, yeah. I've told you this before. So listen to me. I've, I've been cool the first two times. Yeah. I've just asked you to leave. Today I gotta trespass you. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna trespass you for 90 days. You can't come back. All right. All right, is that fair? I've gave you a few chances, bro. I guess, bro. I'm sleeping over here, man. I know. Paul Acevedo, right? Yeah. Paul. How tall are you, bro? How much do you weigh? The officer found Paul lounging comfortably in his corner, but his laid-back attitude would soon vanish. The officer tried to approach the situation in a very nice manner. Unfortunately, Paul here was less than happy about needing to leave, then he aimed his frustration toward the cop. Don't run up on me, dog. It's 220. What's up, dog? What up, dog? I've been cool with you, What up, bro. dog? I've, huh? been, I've been cool with you. What up, dog? I've been cool with nah, you. You've been real you ain't been that Nah, don't run up on me, dog. Back the f up. Back the f up. Don't you run up on me like that. You're on the f up, bro. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. What's that for, bro? Because you ain't going to run up on me like that. I've always been cool with you. I've always I've always respected you. I've always respected you. I've always been cool with you. You're not going to run up on me like that. Do you understand? Do you understand? But you put your hands on me, right? Do you understand? No, you put your hands on me, You're not going to run up on me like that. No, you put your hands on me, though, bro. What the is that about, bro? Stay where right? you're at. 220, right? Stay right there. 220, right? Stay right there. Paul quickly got a reality check when he tried to step towards the officer. This guy overstepped some major boundaries. But this was only the start of the wild antics that made for one of the most difficult arrests ever. Take another step. Bro, I, was by, I was by your door. Back up. I was by your door. Back up, bro. Paul. I was by your we door. We not going to do this, bro. I was like, I was by your door. 220, bro. You want to go today? What? You want to you wanna go to county? No, but why you put your hands on me, though, bro? Because I told you not to run up on me. Where's your camera at, bro? It's right here. No, it's not. No, it's not, bro. Put your hands on me, bro. I didn't put your hands on you. Don't step over I here. I didn't put my hands on you, I'm not going to tell you. Step over here. I got all my stuff Back in my up. hand. What am I going to do to you? What am I going to do Back up, Paul. What am I going to do to you? Back up, What am I going to do to you? Huh? Back put up. Put your hands on me, bro. Don't step towards my car again. No, no, I, no, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you. Put your it's not the first time you guys put your hands on me, bro. I've never put my hands on you, bro. You just put your hands on me. Now you lost your job. You understand? Yep. Paul was clearly looking for trouble at this stage because he was blatantly ignoring the officer's requests and acting in a very threatening manner. This guy's nasty attitude was about to land him in some very hot water. Paul, don't start with me, bro. Bro, you started with me, mother. You know what, Paul? Hands on me, bro. I can't believe that. Leave. No, no, no. You're going to you lose Leave. your job, bro. Okay, that's fine. Call in a complaint. I am. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your name? Gerardo, Gerardo, right? You know it. 90 days, you can't come back. You'll be arrested. I don't give a man. Give me this, bro. You want to trust me? You want to put your hands on me? You want your copy or not? No. Don't ball up your fist like that because we're going to have a problem. I got my lighter in my hand, bro. What the f? Don't ball up your fist. Why you put your hands on me, bro? I can't believe that. Walk it up on me, dog. I ain't gonna tell you it's again. It's just one on one, right? Me and you, right? You don't want that. You, right? you don't no. want that, bro. What you mean? Put your shit down, bro. You wanna lose your job? Gerardo? Huh? I can't believe you put your hands on me, though. Back the f up. Right this shit there, bro. Back the f up, Paul. I got all my back shit in my up. Hand. What am I gonna back do? Up, Paul. Stop putting your Paul, hands back on me. up. Back up. I want my Okay, paper, stay right there. 
Like, what are you Stop yeah. walking towards me. Bro, you're gonna get it, bro. Stop walking towards me. Bro, you keep, right you keep shit, walking bro. towards me with your fist balled up. We're gonna have problems. Stay right Come there. On, Even though the officer was trying his best to de-escalate the situation, Paul was becoming increasingly argumentative and combative. All he had to do was leave with his 90-day trespass. There are plenty of other spots he could move to and stay there for the next 90 days. Come on. What you say, bro? Let's go, Paul. What you mean? Let's go, bro. Why you keep your hands on me, bro? Go. Stop stepping towards me, bro. You, bro. You put your go. hands on me, right? Let's go, Paul. Let's go what? You gotta go. You, bro. I ain't going nowhere, bro. You put your hands on me, bro. You know, you know, you, why, why did you do Stop that, bro? Stop stepping to me, bro. Bro, I got the paper in my hand. What am I going to do to you, bro? You need to leave. You. You lost your job now, bro. Come on. Let me get on my bro. How about that? Grab your shit. Let me my shit. You doing? Grabbing your gun now, too? Come on. Come on, what? Let's go, bro. You gotta get off. Fuck you, bro. Let's go, Paul. Come on. Oh, you gotta go. What, what you gonna do? Paul, with you me? gotta get off, bro. I'm not trying to take you to jail today, dog. No, you always no, you always take me to jail because you put your I'm hands on me, bro. I'm never taking you to jail. Stop stepping to me, bro. Bro, stop putting your stop hands on me. Stop stepping to bro. me. Paul, you gotta go or you're gonna be arrested for trespassing, bro. What? Boy, call you back up then, bro. That's they're coming. Line. Oh, they're coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Your boys, huh? Your boys coming, bro. The attitude he had with the officer was quite concerning, and this might have been because he was on something, or perhaps he was insufferably obnoxious on a normal day. He was quickly losing his chance to leave on his own accord. Bro, because I've told you it's a school, you can't sleep here during the what day. What time is it, bro? What time is it? It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly, bro. It the kids have been dropped bro. off. What, what time is it, bro? It's 8.40. Oh my God, see what I mean, though? You a bunch of shit, bro. 8.40? Let's go, Paul. I need you to get off the property, bro. I really don't want to take you to jail, dog. I know you have, a, jail, you have enough going on in your no, life. No, no, no. You take me to jail, bro. bro. I'm going I'm, I'm to go because you just put your hands on me, bro. That doesn't I make can't any believe sense. that, bro. What you mean? That does make that sense, That doesn't make bro. any sense. Come on, Paul. Let's go. Take me to jail, dog. Let's go. For what? Because you put your hands on me, Gerardo. So you want to go to jail? you damn right. For what? Paul admitted that he wanted to go to jail, which explained a lot about his abhorrent behavior. It's not the first time a homeless person would intentionally commit a crime just so they could have food and shelter in jail. However, there are other places that can provide them that without becoming a problem to authorities. I don't want to fight you, bro. You want to put your hands on me, though. Yeah, you did want to fight me, bro. No, you did want to fight me. You did want to fight me, right? Oh, come on. You did want to fight me though, bro. I don't got no weapons on me. I have no weapons on me, bro. They're coming. They're coming, right? That's good. I, like, I want him to come. Put your... What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Well, They're coming. I'm not fighting you, bro. Stop, bro. I'm not fighting you, bro. Stop, stop, 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 bro. Get off me, bro. Stop, my dresses, bro. Get the off me, Toronto. This guy was acting incredibly tough for someone with rainbows and unicorns on their shirt. When the officer decided enough was enough, Paul started putting up an even bigger fight. The two of them got involved in a vehement struggle, but he was given more than enough chances to avoid this. Oh, 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 I'm trying. Help me. Oh, 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 help. Oh, do I have a reverse toaster to reach me? I live on. Stop, bro. Stop. I can't breathe. Stop, please. Stop. Please stop. I can't breathe. Oh. Oh. I have a reverse total shorty pace by left arm, bro. Stop. Look. Okay. You broke my stop. arm. Stop. Stop tensing up. You I'm not. Please get off me. Stop. I can't breathe. Please. Just moments after Paul acted like a big tough guy, he started moaning and begging for mercy. His victim act and saying that he couldn't breathe certainly wasn't gaining him any sympathy at this stage. Get me up, bro. Please, I can't breathe. We'll you up. Uh, uh, Traffic tight, bro. Traffic tackle will be 10-3. Uh, 
Shut the hell up, bro. I've been here for 30 minutes trying to ask you to leave nicely. And you said you wanted to fight. You got the fight. There you go. Bro, I let you go on the top of you, yeah? What a big man, bro. Shut up. Shut up. You pushed me, you fucking, yeah. I was real calm with him too, bro. You want to my car? This cup's in the way too tight. You need, you need medical attention, Paul? Yes, I do. I need to go to the fuck. Okay. Bro, look how tight it is, bro. Look, at, look how tight my cuffs is, bro. Do you need bro. medical attention? Yes, I do. Please, man. Look at my cuffs, though, man. Look at my cuffs, though. It's so That's because you were fighting. I didn't fight him. I didn't fight him. Hey, I'm sorry, what, uh, what's the reference? Yeah, I wasn't, man. Okay. I did not fight yeah. I didn't put one hand on him. Okay. He f***ing attacked me. And I went on top of him and I let him go. Yeah, you f*** you, bro. I just said I did, bro. You understand the problem that we were rolling around and you were on top of him and was down, right? Because you f***ing tried to stick me, bro. And I let you go. Oh, watch your camera. Can you please help me with this cuff, sir? All that was left to do now was to get Paul here the medical attention he was requesting. And then the officers could move this mess over to the jailhouse. Paul, however, was far from done ranting and rambling. You got anything in your pockets that's going to stick me or my partner? I have nothing, man. My phone, though, man. Please. We'll take hey, your hey, phone. Hey, 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 relax. Everything's wrong with you. Look how tight no, it is, man. We're working yeah, out, okay? I need you to f***ing bath with it, bro. I'm trying to telegraph, bro. All right. What the f***, man? Why you think I f***ing roll off of him, bro? Can I please wash my f***ing hands and leave, bro? Mm. Dude, I didn't have to use the f***ing bathroom, bro. Look how f***ing it's just cut. And look how tight you used f***ing my arm, bro. I have a, look at my scar. You got a blanket or something to put down? Look at my scar, bro. Nah, I don't. Julia, oh, did you call rescue? Yeah, he wants yeah, rescue. Yeah, Yo, look at my scar, bro. Hey, tell hey, him, chill, tell chill, him chill, my chill, cuffs is too tight. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hey, not f***ing resistant. I'm asking you guys something, man. Searching Paul didn't go down any better. And before long, this guy had to be pinned up against the car and secured again. His endless complaints were getting seriously old, and it doesn't look like he would ever learn his lesson. Finally, he walked up with his fist clenched, so. Yeah, Sir, you have my arm like that it's twisted, bro. I don't know what you were doing, bro. I was getting it around, like it's stuff on you. Bro, I'm going to hide there. That's really cool, bro. That's what I fing said myself, bro. I have a reverse total shoulder replacement on the left side, bro. I'm not trying to resist you guys, bro. I gave, I gave more attention, guys. Dude, I need yeah. medical attention, bro. You guys fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, can you stop pulling out my arm, bro? Please. I'm not pulling out your arm. Oh, it's my... It's just 46. Right, one's in. One's showing 4250 Ridge, and then the other one's 4105. One's running first. I'll send you the one that's been holding on. Right here, not gold spring. Next one's going to the paramedics arrived, but before Paul could be put on the stretcher, the cops had to cover his lower body with a huge piece of foil, most likely because he soiled himself. If you move this, if you move my tanks off, you'll see it, bro. It's hard, bro. I'm trying to, bro. If you keep it up, I can, man. I said, you want to keep your leg up, bro. Yeah, because there's too much weight on my, on my back. That's okay. What's too much? We're going right to the hospital and I can, I can switch the cups and put them off to the side. Okay? I can't do it right now like this, sir. It's just way too tight. The hospital's like a mile away. Yeah. The longer you fight it, the longer it's going to take. They anticipated he'd be combative, so Paul was strapped to the stretcher before heading to the hospital. His endless list of excuses was not fooling anyone, but at least he'd have some time in jail to think about his actions. Paul Anthony Acevedo was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. Police officers almost never have a peaceful day on the job. On September 12th, 2024, what could have been a standard traffic stop in Reading for speeding turned into a nightmare when 38-year-old Rick Phillips refused to comply like a sane citizen. Can I see your license, registration, and insurance, please? I'm not in the process of uh, conducting business. Okay, we're not going to play that game, sir. So if you don't want to identify yourself, I'm just going to place you under arrest and tow your vehicle. Okay? I'm traveling right now. Yeah, we're not going to do that. 
Okay, so I need to see your ID. And I need to see the registration and insurance on your vehicle, okay? And you're a grown adult, so you're gonna make an adult decision right now. Okay? So that's up to you. What do you want to do? Okay, you're gonna be placed under arrest. Step out of the vehicle. Out of the vehicle. Hey, bro. 47, I'll take a 1025. Don't, don't, try it. Unfortunately, Rick thought it might be a good idea to act difficult and refuse to identify himself. In this traffic stop, the cop's no-nonsense attitude was exactly what was needed, but it still didn't make it any easier to get Rick out of the vehicle. Get out of your vehicle. Out of your vehicle. Undo your seatbelt. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Undo your seatbelt and step out of the vehicle. Ryan, dude. Okay. Undo your seatbelt and get out of the vehicle. you, man. Undo your seatbelt and get out of the vehicle. Break my arm. I'm not going to break your arm. I don't want to. I want you to get out of the vehicle. Do you, do you not want to get your seatbelt off first? Why don't you just get your seatbelt off and we'll and we'll do this? Break my arm, bro. No. God damn it, dude. I'm not. I'm try. I'm not. You're under conducting arrest. Conducting business. You're under arrest. I'm not conducting business. Rick really thought that pulling that sovereign citizen nonsense that he's not conducting business would magically get him out of trouble. But in reality, the exact opposite happened. The officer on scene was getting quite impatient too, but Rick's antics were far from over. You don't get to do this, sir. You don't either, bro. You don't yeah. get to go in my car and fucking take me out and break my heart. I'm asking you to step out. I'm asking you to let go of my arm. I'm not going to do that. I can't reach my seatbelt. You can do it with your right arm. No, I can't. You can do it with your right arm. So as soon as the other officer gets here, we're going to pull you out and yeah, put you in handcuffs, right. okay? For traveling, yeah. Yep. Rick thought he was above the law, and he still refused to get out of the vehicle. At the moment, things were at an impasse. But even if Rick used every delay tactic in the book, things would still not end well for him. Thankfully, backup officers were already on the way. Go! Get the f off me! Stop! Get off me, dude! Stop. Shut the f up! Stop! No! God Stop. damn it, dude! What the f Resist me! What the f Stop! Dude, I'm not doing this! Stop! Pull me over then, dude! Stop! Stop. Stop. me! No, dude! You're Stop. attacking me, dude! Stop! No! Stop. 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 You stop! Get the f out of me, dude! God damn it, dude! Stop! No! You stop! Stop! You fing stop! You're not going anywhere! I'm not arrested! You're under arrest! I, for what? You're under arrest. You caught me speeding. Give me a ticket stop. so I'll be on my way. What's really ironic here is that if he'd just complied with the officer's requests, he would have probably just gotten a speeding ticket and would have been on his way. Now it was too late, and he was face down on his stomach on a dirty road. The cop's official backup hasn't arrived yet, but thankfully, he got some help. Here, let's get this arm. Okay. Stop. You're good, bro. Stop. I'm burning Stop. my face. All right. Got it? Uh, it's on my shirt. Yeah. This one's not walking. I got you. I'm traveling. Thanks. No. Nope. My car. Oh, 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 oh,
Not in the, not in the, not in the process of conducting business right now. A random citizen who just happened to be passing by jumped in and helped the officer detain Rick once he saw the officer was alone. It was a very brave act worthy of much appreciation. Not many people would have gotten involved, especially since it would have been unclear to an observer whether the suspect was harmless or not. Cool beans. Yeah, I saw you. I was driving this way and this guy said, hey, he needs help. So I pulled over and... Oh, well. Huh. So... Yeah, I'm glad I could help. Yeah, me too. I'm Brian. My, uh, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. No, I got it. I just need, uh, you have his ID and stuff, this guy's? Yep, let me run it real quick and, uh, we'll do What's his name? Frederick Phillips. <sighs> How long were you struggling for with him? Oh, just actually right when you okay. pulled up. Because right. I had him in a twist lock. Yeah. And I was just holding there, waiting for another unit. Yeah. And uh, he, then he kept trying to pull away, and he tried, like, trying to reach in his undo his, or, uh, undo his car, yeah. undo his keys, and then he just went crazy. Yeah. So. Good times. Good. Yeah. After the wacky suspect was secured, the officers then caught up with the Good Samaritan, who jumped in to assist the officer. Altogether, it was a pretty happy ending. But for Rick, not so much. I need to be seen, see the magistrate and show, yeah, you're my, go to jail. show my victim. Where's my victim right now? Me. I'm just traveling. Yeah, you're traveling to jail. I'm not in the process of conducting business. Perfect. I'm a private American. Okay, cool. No. Just, Anything else? You're under arrest. I'm ready to see the judge. Yeah, whenever the jail gets you over to the jail or to the judge, absolutely. Be able to see him okay. right now. Perfect. Good one. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thanks, brother. Yep. It's hilarious how Rick kept insisting that he was a private American. Well, now he'd be a private American in jail, and he certainly won't be doing any traveling there. Rick was arrested for refusing to identify himself, speeding, and resisting arrest. That wraps up today's episode. If it kept you on the edge of your seat, be sure to catch the other crazy videos on our channel as well. 